Hey there, math enthusiasts and everyday problem solvers. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of metric measurements, specifically how to convert meters to millimeters. Whether you're a student, professional, engineer, or just someone who loves precision, this skill is incredibly useful. So, let's get started. First things first, let's understand the basics. A meter is the base unit of length in the metric system. One meter is equal to how many millimeters? One meter equals 1,000 millimeters. That's right, one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. Why? Because milli dash means 1,000th. So, there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. So, the measurement length in millimeters can be obtained by multiplying the length in meters by a factor of 1,000. Practical tip, when multiplying by 1,000, simply add three zeros to the end of the number or move the decimal point three digits to the right. Let's see this formula in action with a couple of examples. Example 1, suppose you have 5 meters and you want to convert it to millimeters. All you need to do is multiply by 1,000. So, 5 meters equals 5,000 millimeters. Easy peasy. Let's look at the second example. Imagine you have a copper wire used in electrical wiring that is 3 meters long. To calculate its length in millimeters, mm, you can use the conversion factor. 1 meter equals 1,000 millimeters. The copper wire is 3,000 millimeters long, which is often a more practical unit when dealing with small-scale electrical components. Think about it in real life. If you're measuring a piece of fabric that's 3 meters long in millimeters, it's 3,000 millimeters. Or if you have a garden hose that's 7 meters, that's 7,000 millimeters. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. Drop any questions you have in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy measuring!